When we first opened Vesta, I, I had the help of John M. Bergamo, uh, Pat Miller, Gabby Gourmet, and then I got introduced to Noel Cunningham and just got to see the influence that a restaurant could have outside of their four walls. When we did our opening party, um, John encouraged us to, to pick a nonprofit. We chose work options for women. And you got to see just how throwing a party, which is what we do all the time, um, you could raise money and, and, and do something more than just throw that party and, and take it outside the four walls. Our efforts started to grow. Um, really what happened, we, we, you get all these opportunities in the restaurant business to go do outside events, do at the zoo, liver foundation, March of Dimes, whatever they may be. And it, the Denver restaurant community has always been unbelievable. It's, it's actually part of the culture, I feel like, of the Denver restaurant community to, to give back. And we were doing a lot of these events and um, as I'd work these events, I'd start to feel like, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm lacking a personal connection here. Maybe it's still great. We're still giving back. Um, but I'd love to do something that we connect more to as a, as a restaurant group, or really just one restaurant at the time, Vesta. So we brought it back to our staff and talked about what, what piece of the community we wanted to influence most. And, and we chose uh, the youth of Denver. And we came across the spot. Um, which is pretty close to Vesta. Uh, it's now Urban Peak. And it was a grassroots organization. Uh, Dave DeForest Stalls, an old NFL player, was leading it. And it was really just a place to get young adults, you know, 17 to 22, off the streets. We started Small Plates for the Spot like 17 years ago or something. And uh, it was, again, it was just a Monday night party. Uh, and we would raise anywhere between 25,000 back in the day. These years where we raised $40,000 just for throwing a party on a Monday. So when we first started Place for the Peak, we went out of our way to make sure it was, I think it started at $50 to, to come to that event and drink all you want and eat all you want. And, and there's a DJ and it's a party and really for 50 bucks and it all goes to a great cause. Um, that ticket price has, has gone up over the years, but we're still under $100, uh, which for a nonprofit event where you get a lot in return for that, that ticket um, is still pretty accessible uh, for a lot of people. But ideally we're turning some people on younger in their careers uh, to the importance of philanthropy and giving back. So all the restaurants try to adopt kind of their own causes and their own parties and, and uh, having a, a signature event. Um, at A Seat Serve, we do wings and whiskey every year. That also supports um, the Youth Culinary Academy. Out in Arvada, we do Tuesday night dine backs. Uh, we have for the last three years. Uh, and those go to different nonprofits um, from all over the community. So the toy drive was again, uh, this is, happens at Steuben's Uptown. Um, today, it, it's, uh, it supports Denver Housing Authority's Youth Culinary Academy, Cafe Osage, which trains uh, young adults that are living in low-income housing how to work in restaurants. It totally aligns with everything we're doing. Um, and that party is just a fun party. Always themed out, always costumed, Back to the Future, Revenge of the Nerds, Saturday Night Live. Uh, we bring in a lot of industry people. Again, it's a Monday night. Uh, a lot of guest bartenders from around town and we just collect thousands of toys and now we, we add some cash to those donations and do some raffles and some other fundraising. Um, but just been a fun party with a lot of legs and gets a lot of uh, the industry involved in that night. Honestly, I think when you engage staff too um, and they start to feel that they, they're doing more than just showing somebody a great time on a, a specific evening and their efforts have greater purpose uh, to the future of the community. And you know, Vesta's been around 22 years now, so. I can say those youth from you know, 20 years ago are now at hopefully thriving adults. So we've made a difference. And I think when a server or a bartender or a dishwasher or a line cook feels that, the energy in the restaurant really, really goes a long way. Um, one of the other just sort of great stories of all this philanthropy is to see one of our former executive chefs of Vesta, Chef Brandon Foster, who was with us for 13 years, has moved on to become executive chef of Project Angel Heart. And, and Chef Selby was involved and we've been involved as, as a restaurant since day one. And to now have somebody from our organization leading that organization, it's just great to see. It's sort of that domino effect. And then my wife, Jen, she runs a little, a separate part of the company called Secret Sauce Serves. And that's more of our hands-on community service where we, it's not just raising money inside the restaurants or going out and doing other people's events. Um, she leads a group of staff 
to go to a book drop for the book trust and goes to the school and is there to read books to the kids and that's an amazing or they deliver meals for Project Angel Heart or we do a meal at uh, Urban Peak uh, we'll serve breakfast or serve lunch so that's a great way to just step outside of our four walls and actually interact with the people that we're trying to help. I'm humbled for sure and when it came up and I was thinking back at, at Noel and just rereading all the stories that came out and just reading a quote that he said just about just wanting to you know, leave more than he took while he was here. And uh, I think that says a lot. You get caught up in awards and having a full restaurant and the party vibe. And sometimes you got to remember there's just a greater purpose to what we're doing here. You know, I grew up with, with a level of philanthropy um, pushed on me. It's sadaka, being a mensch, giving back. Um, so I grew up that way. And I feel like once you recognize how fortunate most of us have it, um, and in the restaurants, the, what we do in, in a restaurant and serving great food and drinks to people who can afford to go out, it just sort of opens your eyes to, to the needs um, outside those walls. And it, there's an appreciation and a gratitude for what we have and then a desire to want to give back.